God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. a clean heart in me, O God, renew in me a steadfast spirit. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses truly I know them, my sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done that you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me here rejoicing in gladness that the bones that you have crushed may revive. For my sins turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With the spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering for me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humble contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, he who knew no sin was made sin for us to save us and restore us to your friendship. Look upon our contrite heart and afflicted spirit and heal our troubled conscience so that in the joy and the strength of the Holy Spirit we may proclaim your praise and glory before all the nations. Create Create a a clean clean heart heart in me, O God. God. Renew Renew in me a steadfast spirit. Rejoice, Jerusalem, for through you all men have be gathered to the Lord. Let all men speak of the Lord's majesty and sing his praises in Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, holy city, he scourged you for the works of your hands, but will again pity the children of the righteous. Praise the Lord for his goodness and bless the kings of the ages, so that his tent may be rebuilt in you with joy. May he gladden within you all who were captives. All who were ravaged may he cherish within you for all generations to come. A bright light will shine on... To all parts of the earth, many nations shall come to you from afar, and the inhabitants of all the limits of the earth, drawn to you by the name of the Lord God, bearing in their hands their gifts for the King of heaven. Every generation shall give joyful praise in you, and shall call you the Chosen One through all ages forever. Go then, rejoice over the children of the righteous, who shall all be gathered together, and shall bless the Lord of the ages. Happy are those who love you, and happy those who rejoice in your prosperity. Happy are all the men who shall grieve over you, over all your chastisements. For they shall rejoice in you, as they behold all your joy forever. My spirit blesses the Lord, the great King. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Rejoice, Rejoice, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, for for through you all men will be gathered gathered to the Lord. Zion, praise your God, who sent his word to renew the earth. 
O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth, the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has now dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All powerful God, it is through your church, generously endowed with gifts of grace and fortified by the Holy Spirit, that you send out your word to all nations. Strengthen your church with the best of all food and make it dauntless in faith. Multiply his children to celebrate with one accord the mysteries of your love at the altar on high. Zion, Zion praise, praise your God, who sent, sent his, his word to, to renew, renew the earth. earth. Praise be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all consolation. He comforts us in all our afflictions and thus enables us to comfort those who are in trouble with the same consolation we have received from him. As we have shared much in the sufferings of Christ, so through Christ do we share abundantly in his consolation. The just are the friends of God. They live with him forever. The just are friends of God. They live with him forever. God himself is their reward. They live with him forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The just are friends of God. They live with him forever. How precious the death of those who purchase eternal life by shedding their blood. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has, he has come, come to, to his, his people and set them free. free. He, has he has raised, raised up for us a mighty Savior, Savior, born of the house of his servant David. David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old, that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands, the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. How precious the death of those who purchased eternal life by shedding their blood. Our Savior's faithfulness is mirrored in the fidelity of his witnesses who shed their blood for the word of God. Let us praise him in remembrance of them. You redeemed us by your blood. Your martyrs freely embraced death in bearing witness for the faith. Give us the true freedom of the Spirit, O Lord. Your martyrs profess their faith by shedding their blood. Give us a faith, O Lord, that is constant and pure. Your martyrs followed in your footsteps by carrying the cross. Help us to endure courageously the misfortunes of life. Your martyrs wash their garments in the blood of the Lamb. Help us to avoid the weaknesses of the flesh and worldly allurements. Gathering these prayers and those in our hearts, we offer the prayer that Christ Jesus gave us. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O oh God, who gave saints Cornelius and Cyprian to your people as diligent shepherds and valiant martyrs, grant that through their intercession we may be strengthened in faith and constancy and spend ourselves without reserve for the unity of the Church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.